In a lot of editing programs, including Photoshop and Lightroom, saturation and vibrance are right next to each other. At a first glance and a first kind of slide on those sliders, they seem to do a similar thing. But there are differences between these two settings. The saturation slider works by increasing or decreasing the saturation of all colors in your image equally. So whether it's a face, a bright t-shirt or a sky in the background, they will all increase or decrease in saturation with this slider. If you increase the saturation slider by plus 20, it will increase red, green and blue all by plus 20. If you look at this image, when I adjust the saturation slider to the right, everything gets more saturated. The blues, the reds, the greens, absolutely everything. So what was already saturated becomes oversaturated. With vibrance, it selectively changes the saturation of certain colors in your image. This sounds like it might not be that great, but it actually is. Now this really relates to skin tones and other really bright colors in your photographs. If you just bump up the saturation slider, it's easy to oversaturate these colors. Now with the vibrant slider, it will increase the saturation of the muted colors more and increase the skin tones and other really saturated colors in your frame less. When I increase the vibrance, the sky and other muted colors increase in saturation more than the reds, oranges, and other saturated colors. With any of these editing sliders, it's a case of experimenting with them, seeing what works and what doesn't with your photographs. What I like to do is slide them all the way to one side and then all the way to the other side to see exactly what they do. Then I bring them back to zero and then start making small changes. With the saturation slider, it's really easy to make the bright, deeper colors oversaturated. So if you have any of these in your photo, try using the vibrant slider instead. Whereas if the image needs an overall raise in saturation and there aren't too many of those really saturated colors in your frame, then raise the saturation slider. Basically, the vibrant slider overcomes some of the problems you can run into with the saturation slider. And remember, with all of these sliders, it's a case of making subtle changes to make your images better, especially with that saturation slider. This is one of those ones where it's really easy to go overboard and to make it look bright and garish. Now, if you like this video, click on this one next, or if you want to binge watch a load of these quick tips, click down here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly tutorials in photography. I'll see you next time.